Hi, and welcome to the studio. I wanted to share a few tools that help facilitate my painting practice and just make studio life a little bit easier. They're all pretty low tech, and most of painting is pretty low tech, uh, but they do make a difference, and I hope that these tools can help you as well. The first one is my glass palette. I love working on a glass palette because it's reusable, it has a nice hard texture, of course, so it makes it easy to mix paint using a palette knife rather than having that sort of softer springiness of a, of a pad of palette paper. It can be scraped off once the paint is dried or when you don't need it anymore. And you can put a sheet of gray palette paper underneath in order to provide a neutral backdrop for the colors. So I love working with a glass palette. Mine is fairly large and I like having that extra space to work with as well. Now the tools that I use probably almost as often as the palette are my palette knives. I love these two palette knives because they are quite flexible, uh, so they bend very easily. And I like having these two because I will use this one to mix the paint and then scrape the paint off with this smaller one. Now I got both of these at Pearl Paint in New York, which I believe has closed now. I don't know what brand they are, um, especially this one. It's my favorite and I, I just love it. I have never found a palette knife that works quite as well as this one. So if you happen to know what brand of palette knives they used to carry at Pearl Paint in New York, um, please let me know because I would love to get another one um, just in case I ever lose this one or it breaks. Now when working on a painting, I find having a mirror to check it makes the painting process much easier. It gives another viewpoint, we can see what it looks like in reverse, and just helps create a bit of distance between myself and the painting. I always keep a handheld mirror handy by my easel so I can check the uh, painting whenever I want. I also have a bigger mirror on the wall across from my painting so I can just turn around and look at it. So if you've never used a mirror while painting, try it out and see what you think. It's surprisingly helpful. Stretching canvas is not really my favorite thing to do, uh, and most of the time I purchase canvas already stretched. But when I do need to stretch canvas, I like using these Holbein canvas stretching pliers. Now these are more heavy duty than the traditional crimping pliers that have kind of a, a crimped edge to them. Um, they've got a great spring here, so it's easy to open them and shut them. Uh, they're wider than the traditional um, canvas stretching pliers. And inside they have sort of this rubber lip that just grips the canvas really nicely without making little indents in it. Um, I find this little edge here too really great for kind of bracing against the um, stretcher frame and providing a little bit more leverage. So they're more expensive than traditional canvas stretching pliers, uh, but in my opinion are 100% worth it. Again, these are Holbein uh, canvas stretching pliers. If you've watched any of my videos before, you probably know that I really like to paint on oil ground rather than gesso. To apply oil ground, I use a silicone spatula rather than a brush. The silicone spatula helps spread the primer around and doesn't absorb the primer the way a brush would. It's also easier to clean, not that you would know it from the state of my spatula, um, but at least when the primer dries, you can just kind of peel it off the silicone rather than having to wash it from the brush repeatedly. This is a Catalyst brand, I think, um, and I got it at um, Opus Art Supplies here in Victoria, um, but anything similar will do. And to keep my glass palette clean, I use a paint scraper. These are just a few dollars at a hardware store. You can see this one is quite loved and the uh, rubber handle has fallen off so I've used duct tape. Uh, but there's just a razor blade in here and it scrapes off the paint beautifully from the glass palette uh, leaving it smooth and clean for next time. I don't really like to have a lot of texture built up on the glass palette. I prefer to keep it uh, clean and tidy and the paint scraper really helps with that. Now, when mixing all those colors sometimes it can be a little tricky to see the color objectively. We tend to see color as a relationship uh, between two or more colors rather than seeing it all on its own. A color or value isolator can really help with that. This one was custom made for me, um, but it's basically a gray card with a little window in it. You can even see on the backdrop here how the color can sort of look different uh, when 
compared to the neutral gray rather than compared to everything around it. It's a simple tool but so effective and uh, I really like to have this nearby when I'm painting. Last but certainly not least is the tube ringer. This is probably one of my favorite tools uh, and it's just kind of fun and satisfying as well. So I've used different tube ringers before but I really like this one. It's got quite a heft to it. It's really well made um, and it gets so much paint out of a paint tube. Um, it is worth every penny. So this is uh, by Gill Mechanical Company from Eugene, Oregon uh, in the United States and it's quite heavy. Um, it's like I said, it's really solid. It's really well made. And I don't have um, too many tubes of paint to show you because I am quite enthusiastic about keeping them all tidy and um, rung, I guess. But I have this one, this Thalo Green. So basically all that you do is just pop the end of the paint tube in here, in the sort of crimping rollers, and hold it tight. And then turn the little dial here the handle, I guess, and it crimps the tube. So you can see it pushes all the paint up to the front and you will never waste any paint. You'll get as much paint as possible from your paint tubes. So these are the tools that I really enjoy using at the studio to help facilitate the painting process. I'd love to hear from you and hear what your favorite tools are. Um, so if you have any that I haven't mentioned, um, please feel free to mention this in the comments um, or shoot me an email or get in touch just to let me know. Thanks so much for watching and happy painting. Visit NicoleSleethAtelier.com for art courses, demos and more.